He's a tough cookie. Listen, you're the doctor. How could he even be walking around with a hole in his head? It seems like the bullet went cleanly through without even grazing his brain. It's rare. Get him on exam table. And what are you going to do? Did you forget who's after us? I'm not dragging him along with me any further. True. We don't have much time. There is one way. Damn, my head is killing me. Maybe someday soon I'll wake up in my own home. Welcome. Welcome to... Uh, hold on. You gave me the wrong text. <clears throat> Welcome, newcomers. We're glad to see you in Vice's ranks. If you're serious, love experiments, and have great faith in your abilities, then immediately head for the medical unit. You'll be examined by our specialists and immediately inject... <clears throat> Enjoy a short overview to bring you up to speed. And remember, change yourself and everything around you will follow. Let's maybe add to the end. We hope you live long enough. Or what a pity it is that you'll be dying soon. That's odd. I feel like I know that voice. Do you feel like you're in danger? Like someone is about to hurt you, don't be afraid. Just make your opponent laugh or scream, and then our Mr. Bite will come to your aid. So the better option is just calling a teacher. Tom here. I see everything, so don't try slacking off. And just so you all know, we have a one-way transmission, so stop trying to talk to me. We strive to make the world a better place. If you suddenly begin to feel nauseated and dizzy, please bear in mind that these are not side effects of our miraculous drug, but simply a product of ordinary fatigue or a magnetic storm. In any case, we pay you for results. And really, you should be paying us for the opportunity to be part of our team. I gave him an injection of that drug, so he should come to in a little while. Even I don't understand what the side effects could be. But he really needs to get to a hospital. If you're a department head, and you still have a key card with the required access, consider yourself lucky. If you're an ordinary rank-and-file employee, then, to put it mildly, you're in a sticky situation. Find your supervisor or his remains, take the key card, and follow further instructions. Along with the rest of the staff, or alone if you're unlucky, collect the corpses and pack them into bags. Take them over to the special zone. Find any service phone and call our special cleanup brigade. Then simply make yourself some coffee and wait to be sent on a well-deserved vacation. And remember, change yourself and everything around you will follow. The weak human body has helped few survive. But whose fault is that? Ask yourself. It isn't yours anymore. Now, every employee of our corporation can try the miraculous Vice Fritz drug, created on the basis of, screw it, figure something out, and which gives unprecedented strength and endurance to anyone who takes it. If you couldn't even outrun a turtle before, now you'll never come second in speed and endurance to even the fastest robot. Have a bullet wound? No matter. It'll heal before you even have time to blink. Go ahead and make an appointment. Remember, change yourself and everything around you will follow. Which of you can tell me what the mortality rate of volunteers is? What? You sure that zero at the end is correct?
Welcome to the flourishing corporation of Vice. We value smart people, but we also highly value physical labor. Without you, we wouldn't be able to deliver equipment to our clients yet, thereby create a better and safer world. But if anyone thinks they can slack off, listen closely. My patience is not endless, and I am more than willing to set money aside to train our animatronics so they can fill your jobs. And then I will fire you. We see everything. Get to work. Change yourself, and everything around you will follow. Terry, fire my speechwriter. The speeches he writes are too nice. Terry, did you find out what happened in the maintenance facility? Give me that document. Mm-hmm. Mm. Uh-huh. Okay. Uh-huh. Mm. Well. So you're telling me that after a complaint from Digi and our Eastern friends, this model was taken for maintenance, and its head was removed and placed on a table? Did I get that right? And when they started to attach a new head model, their lights went out for a few seconds? And the head simply vanished? Do they take me for a fool? Tell me, Carrie, how does a huge robot head simply up and vanish? There are more cameras and security here than in the damn White House. Now go and tell them this. If they don't find it in two days, I won't just fire them. I will personally rip their heads off! Toys! What child doesn't love toys? Would you buy your child a toy? And what if we tell you that we've developed big toys capable of protecting you and your children? Our goal is to create safe, powerful robots. As a rule, all of these robots are terrible and unsavory to look at, but not ours. These pleasant-looking toys will soon be in every part of the world. And what if some country decides to harm the planet or insult our powerful country? All I, oh, excuse me, all we have to do is pull the lever, and our sweet robots will stop being so sweet. And remember, if anyone can't change, then we'll help them. Send my presentation to the General, and leave me a key, just in case. Ha! Yes! Oh, I've done it! Oh, I finally got out! Whew. If you're watching this video, or can at least still listen to it, congratulations! You are the chosen one who has survived our latest experiment or terrible incident. Well, or you're just lucky in life. The first thing you should understand at once is that you will not receive overtime pay, but the world and the Vice Corporation will be forever grateful to you for your contribution and hard work. John, is that you? I've got a serious problem here. Scary toys are trying to kill me. Get me out of here now. I'm calling from a phone booth on Fifth Avenue, near the shopping center. <laughs> 